the Matt Harvey Apology Tour was in full effect last week. Keisha, I ask you, what happens now with Matt Harvey? Can he work this out with the Mets? Will he be a Met at the end of the season? What's going to happen? Well, if he wants to be a New York Met, or even more importantly, if he wants to get paid handsomely, he needs to start rebuilding his image right now. He needs to not to put action with the words because I feel as though we've been here before with him and he's exhibited some behavior that's really, you know, we talked about Jared Jeter being the consummate professional. Matt Harvey, by most accounts, hasn't always been that for the Mets. There's been questions about how serious he takes his conditioning, how seriously he takes preparing, and even on off days. And if we learned anything from sports, we know that management does not like distractions. And I'll say, quote unquote, distractions. <laughs> and they, or anybody that just appears to be lackadaisical in how they, they handle their job. So if, he, if Matt Harvey really wants to play baseball, even for the long, long term, because now he's 28, so he's at that age where he's not young, but he's not old, and he's probably going to be looking for more long-term deals. And clubs are not going to be willing to give him a long-term deal with big-time money if he's showing that he's not committed. Yeah, I thought that, you know, obviously he knew he was in the wrong. The apology that he was issued, not just to the Mets, his teammates, but also to Mets fans, I think that that did go a long way. But it all starts with what he's going to do on the mound. And he didn't bode so well last you know weekend when he pitched against the Milwaukee Brewers. He's got a long way to go. And as you pointed out, now that he's – it's you know, time flies. And it seemed like just yesterday when Matt Harvey jumped onto the scene for the Mets, he was the young phenom. I wonder also if all the other young pitching talent that they have that's also come along. He was the first one. You know, Matt Harvey was the first young stud pitching prospect that the Mets really had that was putting them back onto the path of winning. And now that they have some of these other guys, I wonder if that's maybe messed with his head a little bit in terms of how the competition plays out. I don't see this working out in the long run. I think Matt Harvey and the Mets, it's become a toxic relationship. They can fix it, but I think for the most part, his days in, the, in, in New York are numbered. Yeah, we'll see. The Mets might try to move him at the end of the season just to get some kind of value for him. 